We are looking live right now at a huge project that's causing a big detour for a whole lot of folks. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Carter. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Tonight, road crews are tearing down the 4th Street exit overpass at the Pinellas end of the Howard Franklin Bridge. That work is going to require that the entire bridge be shut down, something that has just happened just before 9 o'clock tonight. Eight on your side's Olivia Steen tells us what drivers can expect. Over the next few hours, you will not be able to drive across the Howard Franklin Bridge. As you can see behind me, they have signs set up letting people know that if you're headed this way, go ahead and take another route. There's a big project going on to remove the 4th Street North Bridge, and that means several construction crews are lined up on both northbound and southbound sides of I-275. It's called the Gateway Expressway Project. In order to do that, the Howard Franklin has to temporarily shut down. I-275 underneath that bridge is going to be widened. And so in order to do that, we have to make the, the 4th Street North off-ramp longer to be able to get the extra capacity underneath the bridge for I-275. And once the ramp goes away, that's not the end of it. Ramp um, is taken down on Saturday night. It will be closed for approximately 9 to 10 months, you give or take with weather. So late 2021 is when we will reopen that ramp after we rebuild the bridge. But the Howard Franklin itself should be reopened by noon on Sunday. So until then, you'll have to take a different route like the Gandy Bridge or the Courtney Campbell Causeway. And they're encouraging drivers to go ahead and add an extra 30 minutes to your travel time to account for any delays. In Tampa, Olivia Steen, 8 on your side.